Zani doing the uh, checks this morning. So this is he's just checking the water and he's just going to check the oil. Just make sure everything's good to go for the day. This is our new engine. This is a Iveco engine. So see Andy's just doing the checks there. So just check the oil now before we get sorted for the day. That's grand, looks ready to rock and roll. All good to go. So you can see how that means getting a bit thin on top there now, Andy, yeah? Just a bit <laughs> alright. Got me best angle. Best angle. <laughs> Jumping. The other engine now. Uh, again, back to oil checks and water checks. Just make sure everything's okay. Ready for the day. Did you have a little good go, Andy? Yeah, that looks fine, yeah. Yeah, let's get it going. Spot on. So these guys are just one of many checks we have to do every single day just before we go to sea. And it's mostly for ourselves more than anything else, you know, because the last thing we want to do is something to go wrong in the middle of the summer and then all of a sudden the boat's tied up and we're losing days at sea. And it's really, really busy, so, you know. So, fingers crossed, but this never happens. But no, she's a brand new engine again, so it was easier to, to get brand new engines than it was to uh, get them overhauled. So we've got one on the shelf now we're getting overhauled and that's going to be there just as backup really um, and it's just more so just in case you know anything does go wrong you know and uh thing for us as well you know it's um, if the gearbox goes wrong or if the um, engine it goes wrong sort of thing you know it's it's a it's a long way for a new engine and it's a, even a longer way for a new gearbox so if we keep on top of these checks and do these checks every single day it, it just makes life sensible and makes life easier for us you know so if something does go wrong at least we've got a might have a backup engine on the shelf now you know so but it never it should never get to that stage and i hope it would never get to that stage but it's there just in case it does go wrong at least we've got an engine so, but as I say, so this is Serenity 2, this is our boat, mine and Andy's. Um, so a little quick guide for you today, really. Um, so this is all our deck here. So this is where all the seating area is for all of our guests. And we we'll get 62 passengers on this boat, so um, it's quite good. So as I say, there's our two brand new engines. So, port, twin engines we've got twin cops and this is a catamaran as well guys so she's a uh, she's a lovely boat she's a really really lovely boat she's a uh, just absolutely fantastic in the water and she's really good to, to, to maneuver really and it's brilliant for the islands absolutely perfect for our job you know so as I say that's here and that's just around here we'll just tidy it up the moment because we've just about two hours about 15 20 minutes before we're going out now so I see uh, your life rings down here my helm there this is easy access for me to look out the door which is the door is just here you see so when I'm looking at the window here it's actually really good access for to keep an eye on the passengers coming on the, on the, on the boat as well so that's good so this is the front of the boat so people can view a platform from the front as well which is quite nice so that's it really uh, there's not really much to my boat really to be honest with you she's a uh, she's just a lovely boat and it's um, it's just ideal for photographers and, and passengers like you know somebody who's not very good on the sea and they're not very good at all really to be honest with you um, they haven't got the best sea legs so it's perfect for them really and you just get a bit of water just in case we need a bit of water for the engines and for a glass of water for ourselves or what have you so yes so but she's a she's a good platform boat especially if you're not very sure about um, your sea legs or anything like that you, you don't she doesn't roll as much as other boats or traditional boats I should say so no, so she's very nice, very nice one. I'm very, very happy with her. Let's give Andy a quick hand here. So, so that's just ready to rock and roll. Really, um, not not a lot more to do. We've got you know we do all normal checks and stuff like that. You know, so we've got quite a few little checks to do. 
Like so, um, this is the wheelhouse at the moment. This is how much we, what's my helm and bits and pieces of VHF there, you know, for getting contact with the other boats, the iPod. So that's really it. TV, but, uh, GPS there. But this is our little sheet as well. This is what Andy, Andy does every single day. So we just go through all the, the stuff on the sheet to make sure everything's all right, you know. And I'm checking the bilge pumps just make sure that everything's all make sure the seacocks are clear just silly simple things which you think are silly but they're actually very 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 good indeed so we just keep on ticking this off every single day and then at the end of the week we rub it out and start again and as I say we just go through this every single day and if there's anything like a default or somewhere like that we'll just write it down and then we'll just fix the default That's how it started, she sounds sweet as a nut. She should be pumping okay. So she's pumping right that side. Pumping okay there. Yeah, so that's how it started. So, and he's just quickly doing a, a quick visual check there now, just to make sure everything's alright, there's no pipe speaker on like that. That's just good to go. So we're just going to let the ropes go now and then um, I'm just going to head off to where uh, we'll pick the passengers up. Stereophonic sound for the home is recorded on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension of sound impossible to obtain in a monoral recording.
So we're just lying here having a bit of lunch. This is the inner farm behind us here. We're just having to chill out for half an hour or so until uh, we'll go back and pick our guests up. And they're on this island here at the moment, so cool. And just behind me here, guys, are quite a few gilly moths. They've all just come across the boat. And you can see them there. Uh, just coming across to say hello. So these fellas here, these are all the guillemots, and they're not, uh, not shy at all. As you can see, they're starting to come to see us here now, and they'll come right up to the boat as well, which is quite cool. But you can see them just really, 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 really curious at this time of year. You can see how close they are to the back of the boat and I don't know why they just keep on coming closer to the boat and then all of a sudden just flip off again. It's, it's quite cool though, you know what I mean? So, you, you know, have all these guillemots all over the cliff face and then just a handful, well a good handful, come across the boat for some reason. So we'll just sort of start the engine up here now so these will all probably disappear. Whoa! <laughs> get a bit close to the rocks now, you see, so just come a bit, come a bit, start a bit, to get away from them all. Now this little fairy friend here has just landed on the boat, and he's just saved the day. He's going to look after this little bird. We're going to throw it back in a minute. Well done, Andy Pal, for saving the boy. Okay. Just gonna let it go there now. So off you go then Andy, there you go. Yeah. Well after Andy saved the day and let the little guillemot go, we decided to head back home. Back to see as we went and as I turned around I looked and here the little man sound asleep. But he wasn't asleep for very long because by the time I got back to horror I made him wake up and start doing his jobs. I know they're young, but you've got to get them and show them what to do for when they get older. He's a good little lad, really. He works hard on the boat. And he does do his little jobs cleaning, which is great to see for his young little, young little boy. Once again, thanks very much for watching us. I do hope you enjoyed this episode. And for behalf of myself and Andy, I would like to thank everybody for watching it all. I hope we will do a little bit of insight of what, what we are and who we are and what we do for a living and what the board is about. Fingers crossed next episode we'll do Serenity 3 and uh, show, her, show her her boat and the guys in that boat. But in the meantime, if you can give us a big subscribe, it'd be fantastic. And if, uh, if you give us a big thumbs up, even better. So once again, thanks very much for watching us, guys. We'll catch you later.